If you recently started the journey as a self-taught developer or you're thinking about getting into programming, here are the main reasons why a lot of developers fail. In this video, I'm going to tell you what those reasons are and how you could potentially avoid them. Let's get to it. Reason number one, you don't think you can actually do it. You can't think that you can become a programmer. Maybe you recently started or you're thinking about starting, but you can't really convince yourself that you have what it takes to do it. I could make a whole video discussing just this single reason because there are so many reasons why somebody could think that they don't have what it takes. But as you talk more and more about those reasons, the more they start sounding like excuses. So I'm going to be discussing only a few of the whole list of potential reasons why you think you wouldn't be able to do it. Number one, you don't have the right laptop. You don't need to have the perfect laptop or computer for you to start learning how to code. You can do it in the laptop that you have or the laptop that you might have access to. I even heard stories of people who learn how to code by writing their code on paper and borrowing somebody's computer to actually test the code. So don't let the laptop you have keep you from learning how to code. You think you are too old to start learning how to code. Are you 80 or 90? I already created a video talking about this topic and I'm going to drop a link in the description below. So you can watch that video to learn more about this topic. But I'm gonna go ahead and make the assumption that if you're watching this video and you're thinking about becoming a self-taught developer, is because you want to make a career change. And if that's the case, the hardest thing is to take the leap into changing careers. In the video that I just mentioned, I explained to you how you can do it, or at least how I did it from personal experience. Another reason why people think they can't become programmers is because they're not good at math. In reality, you don't have to understand high level math to become a programmer. Unless you're going to be writing software for scientists, or if you wanna get into data science, you will be okay with basic math. However, you will have to have good problem solving skills. Another reason why I hear people can't do it is because they don't have time. Everybody has the same amount of time. We all have 24 hours a day. But let's be honest here. If you're watching this video and you're looking into getting into software development, it's because you want to change your life. Unfortunately, becoming a software developer does take time and does take effort. So if you want to change your life, you have to make changes and you either need to stop doing certain things or do less of them so you can make time to learn the material you need to learn to become a software developer. Just like this handful of, of reasons of why people think they can't do it, there are so many more that I could go through this list, but like I said, I could make this video an hour long just by going over all the different reasons or excuses why people think they can't do it. Main reason number two, you aren't fully committed. You think you can become a software developer on your own, but maybe you underestimated the amount of work and time that it takes to become a developer. Unfortunately, this is not a walk in the park, and if this was easy, everybody would do it. Therefore, it wouldn't be worth it for you to become a developer. If you are having trouble committing yourself to the work that you need to put in to become a developer, maybe you should ask yourself why you want to become a developer in the first place. I'm sure that there is a reason why you're doing it and if that reason or that why you want to do it is big enough, you are going to be able to use that to stay motivated. Having the right reason why you're doing this is going to help you stay motivated and putting in the work that you need to put in to achieve your final goal. On the other hand, if this reason is not big enough, you are going to continue to struggle. At the end of the day, if you have a clear reason why you're doing this, all you need to do is keep reminding yourself whenever you don't feel motivated of why you're doing this. At least that's how it worked for me. Whenever I wanted to do something fun, like hanging out with my friends or playing video games, I reminded myself of why I needed to put in the time to become a developer. If it helped me, I'm pretty sure it can help you. Reason number three, you are not following the right roadmap or you're not following a roadmap at all. At this point, you think you can do it, you are committed, but no matter what you do, no matter how much time you put into it, you still feel like you're not making any progress. This could be because you are following the advice of too many mentors or you don't have a clear picture of where you want to be as a developer. You can get into many different branches of of software development. You could get into front-end development, back-end development, mobile development, game development, full-stack development. You can get into DevOps. You can get into data science, and there is quite a few more. So the main thing that you need to focus on if you're struggling with this, if you don't have a clear picture of where you see yourself, you need to go do some research 
and find out where exactly you see yourself working in software development. Do you think that maybe working in mobile development is the right thing for you? So you can find a roadmap that helps you get there without wasting any time. You can go to roadmap.sa, link in the description below, and there you will be able to find the right roadmap for you depending on where you want to go. Remember that your number one goal as a self-taught developer is to get a job in software development as quickly as you can. If you are doing tutorials or taking courses that don't align with your roadmap, you're essentially wasting time and taking longer to get to where you want to be. For example, I've heard of people who want to get into front-end development and are taking a course on SQL. Those things don't really mix. Typically, when you're a front-end developer, you don't have to deal with databases. Scenarios like that will make your journey as a developer longer and it doesn't need to be that way. Reason number four, you haven't learned the fundamentals of programming. It happens more often than you think. Unfortunately, developers avoid all the pitfalls that I've mentioned before, and then they get smacked in the interview process because they don't know the fundamentals of programming. They don't know the basic concepts when it comes to programming. These concepts can be applied to different languages. The fundamentals of programming encompass things like data types, data structures and algorithms, and things like that. Basic concepts that developers should know whether they are self-taught or not. If you haven't taken a course on the fundamentals of programming, I strongly recommend that you stop any courses that you're doing and go find a course that teaches you the fundamentals of programming. This could very well be the reason why you do or you don't get the next job that you're applying for. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we publish new videos. Thank you, catch you in the next one. Hey, you think I sounded like I was mad? A little? Damn. But that's gonna help him get the point, right? Oh, you're still here? Oh, watch this video here, or is it this one? I always get it wrong, this one.